What's going on guys? My name is Suboptimal and I'm just your typical Indian software engineer. In this game dev experiment, we'll go over the process of building the Rasengan from the Naruto anime series using 3JS. Now for those of you that don't know, the Rasengan is a super powerful technique that Naruto is able to master really quickly because he's the main character, has a lot of plot armor, and is quite frankly pretty OP. But instead of debating whether or not Naruto is OP, let's jump right into the project. As I was editing the video, I noticed that I forgot to mention that all the code for this project and all other game dev experiments are under my game decks repository. So if you want to clarify anything, just go here. Basically, what you need to know is that I'm using Next.js and Next.js, you can get a project up and running by just running one command in your terminal called npx create next app. And once you do that, you're going to get this whole boilerplate code. And all I'm doing is I'm removing everything in it and just adding a simple little canvas. And what I'm going to do with the idea of this canvas is set up the scene. And the scene is going to have orbit controls. It's going to have the FPS counter, and it's also going to have this box geometry. The reason I like to do this is just because it's a good way to know whether or not you've set up 3JS correctly. So if we go to our 3JS scene, you're gonna notice something like this. It's just a simple little 3D box and we've got the FPS and we've also got orbit control so we can move around. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a really long box and we want this box to look kind of like a wave. So what we're gonna do is say that the box is four by four by 36. And what we wanna do is we want to update the vertices with this vertex shader that we're custom creating. It's going to elongate the box. So at the center of the box, it's gonna be the normal dimensions, but as you go further and further in the Z direction, we want to make it skinnier and skinnier so that it starts looking like a wave. So you're gonna see that at the center where the Z is equal to zero, we're just, you know, not doing anything to the X, Y axis, but as Z gets larger and larger, you can see here that the X and Y direction are just getting smaller and smaller. So I just sort of just played around with the vertex shader. And of course, if the position is zero, I don't change anything. But if the position is not zero, what I'm going to do is update the vertex shader from this to this. And the only real difference here is that uh, one, we are shrinking down the position on the X and Y axis. So it looks more narrow, but it's also going to uh, start taking the sign of the Z position. And what that's gonna do is make the vertex shader look more like a wave when you add it together with the uh, X position. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So as you can see, we can start seeing the wave form look more and more like an actual uh, wave that can happen inside of the Rasengan. Now the next thing to do is just add a ton of these and rotate them on different axes. I'm gonna zoom out so you know we don't get dizzy, but you, know, you can just see that basically I created the center of the Rasengan. So the next thing that we want to do is add the blue sphere to contain all of those moving waves. Now for this specific section, I do want to give thanks to Chris Courses because he made this intermediate 3JS tutorial and without his help, I wouldn't have been able to get the correct shader stuff working. So thank you, Chris. Definitely check out his channel if you want to learn more about 3JS. So adding the blue circle is actually pretty straightforward. The key component is adding the fragment shader. So before, what we worked on was the vertex shader because we wanted to move the box uh, geometry to look like a wave. But this time, the sphere is not going to change. It's going to be normal. So here, this is just a normal sphere vertex. But the thing that we care about is the Rasengan fragment shader because this shader is going to do all of the coloring. Now, the important thing is just updating the gl underscore frag color. And what we're doing here is uh, handling the intensity. Now, this intensity function is actually pretty complex. I probably just want to just copy and use as is for now. So basically what you want to do is take the color that you want it to be and multiply it with an intensity. And that's just going to determine how it's going to look. So let's take a look at what we get. So now we have this sphere and basically we are doing this light intensity on it so that it looks um, sort of like a Rasengan. 
And the next thing is to add the glow effect, which is also going to be a sphere, except this time it's going to be scaled up and it's going to have the glow intensity. So here I'm basically doing the same thing, the same color, except this time it's going to have a different intensity. And of course, um, once we start rotating these, it's going to look more and more like a Rasenga. Now, the last thing we want to do is to actually put a 3D hand object and load it onto this screen so that it looks like somebody is actually holding the Rasengan. In order to load a hand object file, we have to first get one. And I decided to go to Sketchfab to find a 3D hand model. And I found one from Katarina Zamai. They made this cool little hand OBJ file. And this OBJ file just contains a ton of vertices. So fortunately, it's actually really simple to import these files into our 3JS project. So all you gotta do is import the OBJ loader and then specify where the file is. And once you get the object, you just wanna add it to the test scene as well. I also do a couple of things behind the scene. So I basically finagle around with the position of the hand and the rotation of it. So it looks like somebody is actually holding the Rasengan. And as you can see, we've got our Rasengan here. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and learned a little something new about how to create a Rasengan from the Naruto anime in 3JS. If you enjoyed the video, then consider leaving a like and subscribing for more suboptimal content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.